Hello, welcome, hope you're having a great day. Today, we're gonna be dwelling once again in r slash nice guys, so one of my all-time favorite subreddits of all time. Let's take a look. Oh, wow, we're uh, starting off strong with an anti-LGBT flag picture. Let's check out what this guy is saying. It must be reasonable, right? He is heartbroken, as you can see by the emojis. Today is not a good day date for me said face i proposed my longtime crush and found that she's a lesbo puking emoji in a relationship with another lesbo puking emoji freaking love tale ended horribly S so uh, wait a second here he proposed to his longtime crush like actually proposed so they were friends or acquaintances or something, and he instantly went to kneel and uh, gave her a ring or something. That's cringe, bro. But there is more. She literally preferred a lesbian over a gentleman. <laughs> Sincere, nice, and humble person like me. Heartbroken emoji. God, I'm cursed. Crying emoji. Yeah, I don't know, maybe she preferred a girl because she is not into guys but yeah i just can't get over the fact that he proposed to a friend they weren't even dating stop bro all right so we've got some riz tips for boys so let's check out if these are any good number one if she says she's in the shower respond without me yeah always shower with your girl uh, every time twice on a sunday number two say where my hug at Whenever you see her in real life, she gonna FW it in real life, okay? You know, all interactions used to be in real life. I feel like such a boomer right now. Number three, if she leaves you on opened, keep texting <laughs> until she responds. It shows that you care. No, it shows that you are bothering her maybe she can't respond but i don't know i mean you could bother her like that this is just horrible advice number four call yourself ugly a lot she will compliment you works 100 percent of the time yeah you will get that sweet pity okay sympathy maybe even disgust who knows hopefully you understood that this was a uh, sarcasm it's not real tips Hey, I'm censored. Lol, I saw you. I'm Facebook. What is going on here? I'm Facebook dating. Don't worry, I'm no stalker. I just looked you up and find you just like that. Yeah, you might not be a stalker, but you also can speak English, alright? Hi, so maybe I'm just impatient with making the match. Lol. Interesting. Hi, uh, I'm censored, uh, so tell me about yourself, censored. Well, uh, I'm a weirdo, lol, but uh, the good kind of weirdo, not the weirdo that will try to f*** on the first day. Now, that's not me, lol. He's not a stalker and he doesn't want to do it on the first day. What a, what a great guy. Yeah, I, I don't know, lol, but why is it interesting, if I may ask? But also, you're hella cute, so instead of asking about myself, tell me about yourself, lol. This guy's so awkward, he just keeps saying LOL all the time. And then she asks him some normal questions, such as how old are you, just how easy it was for you to find me. Actually, you are the first thing that popped up, and don't worry, I'm in my 20s. Who talks like that? Can you just say, are you 24, are you, are you 21, are you 29? I'm not teenage, I can tell you that, no, you're probably 18. I guess because we do live relatively close, so I gathered all the people in my area. Definitely not a stalker. Sorry, sad face. I know, I might be a lot for you, but I'm here for everyone, even though we just met do met, met too i'm too nice i'll tell you that are you okay with younger guys though uh, uh, like i'm in my 20s but but younger i can tell you that <laughs> so he's 20 or what 
The fact that you won't say your actual age is a huge red flag. I hope you find what you're looking for, but it's not me. Good luck. I'm 20. Trust me. I never said I won't say it. I was just scared. Because I know you're older. Fine. Bye. I'm not a red flag. Just trust me. Ah, this guy is just a desperate young guy, okay? Maybe relax, okay? Don't rush things. Chill out. It's all gonna be fine. And yeah, you probably won't be able to date the 28-year-old girl, okay? Seems cool because you're younger, but uh, yeah, it's not that cool. Alright, so a few days later, he actually returned. He will never give up. Yeah, I'm sorry. I texted you a while ago and I was just very high. I'm sorry. That's why I didn't give away my age, because I just wanted to know you and, and all the good stuff. No problem. You did learn the best part about me. I'm open and honest and I expect you to be as well. Good luck in life. <laughs> it's over. Just stop writing now. Yeah, I understand. I just really kind of want to... I like talk with you, see if you're good, IG. If you want it though, you're really cute. I'm 20 by the way, almost 21. I did change, so I won't do that again. He already changed. He won't do it again. Cause I'm the same way, I just sometimes like to joke around, and when I'm not so open, that means I'm scared. Honestly, I could never pursue any type of relationship with you. First off, your lack of spelling, grammar, punctuation, and full word or sentence structure is killing me trying to read your messages. Second, I'm not interested in drug users. Third, I'm not interested in children. And I understand you're 20, but your actions and explanations show your immaturity. You're young, enjoy it, but if you're seeking to make a good impression, there are a lot of areas lacking. I apologize if anything I said comes off intensely, I only mean it constructively. Well, to be honest, I'm not immature, I'm actually very mature for my age. <laughs> it really shows, dude, it really shows. Just because I have lack of punctuation, I just means I need to attend school more, which I am in school, and I don't even do drugs like that. Well, you said you were high. And plus, I don't believe it's a drug, because it's legal. I don't want a relationship with someone that's kind of ignorant about the law. Bye. He really showed her. He's ignorant about the law. F*** her. So we've got a serious interrogation here. Number two. Why don't you want to date me? Do I trigger bad memories? Did I do something or act wrongly around you? Do you just see me as a brother, or do you secretly hate me because I'm too nice to you, or something? I just do not have any romantic feeling towards you, I do not hate you, I just do not have any romantic feelings towards you. I feel like that was the seventh time she had to describe it to him. But why? And he keeps going. Number three. Why are we friends? I know you care about me and, and you know I care about you, but despite how many times you tell me I'm not, I personally feel like if I'm annoying because of how persistent I am to a dead end goal. What does this mean? W what does this mean, bro? It's annoying, yes. Your inability to accept that I do not have any romantic feelings towards you. We can end our friendship. It's over. This is... Is this worse than a friend zone? I don't know. It's probably not. It's probably better. This is the stranger zone now, okay? Bro really lost that one. Why do women always love the worst type of guys? They love serial c***ers, rats, files. What, what world do you live in, bro? Criminals, etc. Basically the... Bad guys. Even some mass sh** received tons of fan mails from girls. Why do girls love the worst type of guys? Uh, mm, they don't. Yeah, I, I don't know what else to tell you. They just don't. 
Hello, love, how are you? I'm a giant nerd also, if that matters. Hey, cute cat, I think you're a little young for me, but good luck out there. I think uh, this is the greatest conversation I've ever seen. Uh, giant nerd, cute cat, amazing. Why am I too young? Uh, you? Is that a sentence? Give it a shot, never know what you're missing out on. Great grammar. What do you mean, why, XD? It's because you were born five, six-ish years before me. It's nor that much of a difference. Not a single correct sentence was written that day. You can't rent a car legally, and I have a mortgage also. I would love to be amicable about this, so please just take the no as a no. You don't get to decide who I do or don't date. Okay. No sh. I don't get to decide who or what you do. We could just be friends. Uh, okay, so I wonder, did I end up becoming friends? For sure. I used to be a nice guy, uh, but I learned the hard way it's best to be a a-hole in a relationship, because F being nice, because girls exploiting that niceness. Lesson learned. He really learned his lesson on that day. One of the lessons of all time. I just love how the picture fits this uh, blue-eyed, baby-faced dude. It's a metaphor for his uh, niceness. And by the way, this is a sarcastic meme, somebody made it. But this one, I don't think it's sarcastic. I think it's as real as it gets. It's not true that nice guys finish last. Nice guys are winners before the game even starts. Really, so how do you explain the fact that uh, you didn't get the first place medal? Level 69 Copium. I'm happy you survived the cringe and uh, yes, that's very nice and something and stuff. And if you like this video, subscribe and click the bell button to get notified whenever I upload. Sometimes I forget to breathe. See you in the next one. Peace out.